Hello, here I'm going to demonstrate on how to create my SQL database in Amazon Web Services. First log in into AWS console. Once logged in you will get into the AWS Management Console page. Now, click on AWS Search and there type RDS. Here, click on RDS under Services. It will take you to the Amazon RDS Dashboard page. Now, we need to click on Create Database. It will redirect to the Creation page. Here, we can go with the options as per out requirements. First is database creation method. It is about the configuration. Next is engine options. Here we can see a list of database types under RDS. Now I'm selecting my SQL and next below that we see the version option drop down under that. So here we are going with the latest version. The template option is for Choosing the DB use case. Under this, we are going with the free tier. Now, next is DB settings. Here, DB instance identifier is a DB name. I'm not changing that now. Leave it as default one. Below that, there is credential settings. Under that, you will see master username for DB. Next, we need to create a password for DB. I'm giving it as test test123 as a password. Now, saving the username and password for DB. Just to show you. It is done. Next option is, DB Instance Class, leave it as default. Below that storage leave all the settings to default as we are using free tier. I'm disabling the auto scaling. Nothing to do with the availability and durability for the DB we creating for testing. Next comes to connectivity. Here, we need to configure the correct VPC. Once DB is created, we cannot change the VPC. Now, coming to public access. If you go with the option yes, devices outside your VPC can connect to DB. If you go with no, then only devices in VPC can connect to your DB. Next is VPC security group here. We are going with the existing security group. Selecting the security group now. Below that, Available Zone option, we need to select the Availability Zone for our DB. And we leave the database port to the default which is 3306. Next is Authentication options for DB. We'll go with Password Authentication. For now, we are not changing anything in additional configuration. And now, click on Create Database. You will see Database Creating, and, it will take some time to create database. Now, database is created successfully.